pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA section 10 colon 4 dash 10 has been complied with and shall be entered into the transcript of this hearing. The public hearing is called by the order of the Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Middlesex as directed by New Jersey Laws 1975 Chapter 326. Official public notice of this hearing was published in the Home News Tribune, East Brunswick, New Jersey on Tuesday, February 9th and on Tuesday, February 16th, 2016. Copies of the affidavit of publication are on file in the Office of the County Division of Solid Waste Management. Copies of the proposed plan amendments have been sent to each municipality in the county and have been made available for public inspection. Resolution number 16-240R, authorizing this public hearing, was approved by the Board of Chosen Freeholders at their meeting of February 4th, 2016. The purpose of this hearing is to hear persons interested in or who would be affected by the adoption of the proposed plan amendment to the Middlesex County Solid Waste Management Plan. An official transcript of this hearing will be made available to each member of the Board of Chosen Freeholders. <coughs> this is not a decision-making hearing, nor is it a hearing where points will be debated. This hearing is solely for the purpose of hearing comments on the proposed plan amendment. Copies of the plan amendment are available on the table near the sign-in sheets everyone should sign in at the front table. Those of you who would like to make a statement should write your name on the speaker's list. You will be called upon to speak in the order in which you signed up. Each speaker will be given five minutes to present their comments. Comments in writing will be included in the record of public hearing and the record will be held open for written comments until 4 p.m. on Wednesday, March 2nd, 2016. The proposed plan amendment is as follows. Plan amendment 2015-2. Amend the inclusion of Middlesex County Landfill located at Block 8. Uh, like uh, probably most people in the county, I'm going to be affected by this, and I'm not uh, really well versed in how landfills work or, uh, you know, it's, it's really honestly something that, that most people don't even think about. Um, and so I uh, want to thank, uh, you know, the, the solid waste committee for putting together this hearing. Um, I would like to hear from someone uh, while everyone's here tonight, if somebody could please speak up and talk about uh, how this will or will not affect the Raritan River, um, which is right next to the site. Um, I'm concerned, frankly, that the uh, Landfill would, would end up being 220 feet above sea level. I don't know what the average height of the Raritan River is relative to sea level, but my concern is that garbage will end up in the river. And perhaps someone can get up here at the same microphone and um, explain why that is not uh, something to be concerned about. Uh, but I, I am I'm presently in, in my state of, uh, you know, less than... Um, fully educated state here. Uh, I'm concerned about that, particularly during storms. Um, you know, we've had some very powerful storms recently, and I've heard from people who live near this area that they've seen garbage in the river presently under the current, uh, you know, setup. So I'm concerned about making it even taller uh, and, and having even more garbage right next to the Raritan River, which is, of course, you know, uh, intimately con connected to so many communities in Middlesex County, um, New Brunswick being my hometown. Uh, so I'd like to hear about the Raritan River and how it will be or won't be affected and, and what is going to be done to keep garbage uh, from ending up there, particularly during storms. Um, I'd also like to learn a little bit about the relationship between the Edgeboro landfill and the Middlesex County landfill. This is something I've only learned in, because uh, of this plan amendment, but apparently there's a privately owned landfill that's kind of, I guess, buried somewhere in there. Uh, and I'd like to understand the historical relationship and also the practical relationship between those two landfills, as well as what is being done uh, regarding, uh, you know, turning <laughs> some of the products of the landfill into energy. I understand there's systems that, that do such a thing and I'd like to learn more about those and how they will be affected by this amendment um, and uh, I guess that's that's really about 
about all. I'm, 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 I'm concerned about the, uh, the impact on the Raritan River mostly, but especially on, on the impact on water quality. Um, you know, we, uh, water is the most precious resource we have, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I think there might be a better way than, than this plan amendment, but I'd like to hear from some experts, and I hope that someone who's involved in this will, will get up and speak tonight uh, for the benefit of the public. Thank you.